Good morning and welcome. This is the Comics FX Daily Outlook for the 9th of September 2014. The euro declined 0.43% against the US dollar and closed at 1.2898 as the Centex investor confidence in the euro region deteriorated in September. Yesterday, the ECB executive board member Sabine Lautenschlager supported the recent decision of the ECB to cut its key interest rate, stating that it was necessary to prevent the risks of too low inflation and boost economic growth in the common currency bloc. Separately, the IMF chief Christine Lagarde suggested that the weakening of the euro against the US dollar in the past few days is a positive sign of recovery in the single currency bloc. In the US, Consumer credit climbed by $26 billion in July, higher than market expectations for a rise of $17 billion and compared to an $18.8 billion in the previous month. The pair is expected to find support at 1.2853 and a fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.2824. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1.2934 and a rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.2886. Amid a light economic calendar in the Eurozone, as well as in the US, trading trends in the pair today would be determined by global news. The British pound fell 0.73% against the US dollar and closed at 1.6095, as house prices in the UK rose less than expected in August, raising concerns over the health of the housing market in the nation. Economic data released this morning indicates that the like-for-like -like retail sales in the UK rebounded sharply, increasing 1.3% on an annual basis in August, higher than market expectations for a rise of 0.3% and compared to a 0.3% fall recorded in the previous month. The pair is expected to find support at 1.6029 and a fall through could take it to the next support level of 1.5977. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 1.6180 and a rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 1.6279. Trading trends in the pound today would be determined by the UK's industrial and manufacturing data scheduled for release in a few hours. Meanwhile, investors would keep a close eye on the Bank of England Governor Mark Carney's speech taking place today. The US dollar strengthened 0.75% against the Japanese yen and closed at 106.00. .00. Earlier today, the minutes of the Bank of Japan's latest monetary policy held in August indicated that policymakers are optimistic about Japan's economic recovery and expect inflation to rise gradually. The pair is expected to find support at 105.4 and a fall through could take it to the next support level of 104.57. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 106.67 and a rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 107.12. Trading trends in the yen today would be determined by Japan's Consumer Confidence Index as well as machine tool orders data scheduled shortly. The US dollar rose 0.45% against the Swiss franc and closed up 0.9353. The Swiss franc came under pressure after retail sales in Switzerland fell unexpectedly at an annualized rate of 0.6% in July. Meanwhile, the seasonally adjusted Swiss unemployment rate rose 3.2% in August, in line with market expectations. It follows a similar increase registered in the previous month. The pair is expected to find support at 0.9329 and a fall through could take it to the next support level of 0.9289. The pair is expected to find its first resistance at 0.9390 and a rise through could take it to the next resistance level of 0.9411. That was our last currency pair for the day. Don't forget to check out your new ComicsFX affiliate program. We offer one of the most attractive and profitable IB packages in the forex industry. Stay in the know by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and Instagram, circling us on Google+, and of course, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Have a nice and profitable day.